Just thought I'd do a little update. When we first saw the bike was pretty standard. I had some ideas. Obviously COVID stopped a lot of those ideas, so not that I just got what I could. Um, wasn't a bad uh, result in the end, but I did want to go Fox front and rear, keep it as it was sort of in originally intended, but I thought, you know, try Rock Shocks. I haven't gone Rock Shocks for a while. A couple of uh, the old pikes end up putting a spring in them. I just couldn't get away, but here we go. So as before, this is my 2020 Levo SL in green tint. I still can't get over the colour, man. Jesus, look at that. My poor, poor Invisi frame. I do need to take it off and start again. It's got a bit of muck underneath it, but... So, here's a go. Run down. So, first off, I uh, couldn't get a hold of a, an X2. Even a DPS X2. Couldn't get a hold of anything Fox, really. Uh, I managed to get a Super Deluxe off eBay. It had the uh, bearing mount on the back. I ended up uh, having a baptism of fire, learning how to fully strip down one of these including the piggyback oil, pressurizing that back up. It took a long time. I'm trying to get this video without me getting in the shadows, but uh, here we go. I thought I'd show you the, the stickers. I got some uh, some Visiframe gold stickers. They matched it perfectly to what I wanted, just to try and jazz it up. Uh, I didn't really want to go too garish, but I couldn't resist. I was trying to go pistachio fox, but yeah, I couldn't get them. So in the end, I went for a gold and green. Managed to get myself a, a gold cassette as well. Uh, I did try and get the eagle gold derailleur, but they don't make them anymore. They're all black for some reason. Um, maybe it's a bit too much, but so I go gold chain, eagle cassette. It's beautiful. Like it's the first proper ride I've had out on it. I couldn't even bring myself to putting any oil on the chain because I didn't want to get it dirty. But oh, look at that paint, man! Look at it. I don't know if anybody was a fan of TVR when they uh, had their three-tone paint on the Cigaris when it came out. But that's what I get from this. The colour was probably flat, and I'm probably talking bullshit, but never mind. So yeah, we've got gold Renfield bars, of course. These were hang-me-downs from my Enduro. Now they are 31.8. Um, I don't know if they feel good. I don't think they needed to be any burlier. I've got 35s on my Enduro and yeah, this is, it's all you really need. I don't, I don't, I think the frame, I mean the forks, the forks definitely give you the support the, that the bars don't, but not that they get flapping about, but 780 wide. Standard grips, I do like a squishy grip. Yeah, uh, I'll not be changing these, I do like them. So we have Zebs on the front, Ultimates. Get out the shadows. I did get some gold stickers because why not? These things are insane. Really supportive. I do have Olin's uh, 36s on my Enduro. I don't know. It's getting close, like, it's getting real close to, to not needing them. This damper that they've got inside, it's got a little bladder, inflates, oh, it's, yeah. I didn't go for the Neg Meg or whatever it's called on the back because it doesn't need it. Like, I think this setup with this FSR setup and the weight being a little bit further forward, the shock works great. I never, I've never felt like I was going to bottom out. I've only just literally set this up. Everything's in mid position. Yeah, there's not a lot I really need to do. And I think it's more to do with the size of the wheels. 29 and just basically new bike you get used to the bike you know what i mean you don't want the bike to get used to you you get used to the bike red pedals yeah they look a bit weird but I spent all my money on a bloody cassette didn't i so recycled mallets so from original cassette chain rear shock forks replaced bars replaced Unreal, like, yeah, it's hard for me to go back to my Enduro after this. When I get on it, it feels like a little toy. And now, like, think, yeah, I'm, I need a stiffer spring on the Enduro. I need to sort my damping out. I think they get to a point where coil can only be used in so many situations, literally bashing downhill, feeling like I can fly through flats and 
just like, it just feels like the trail's not even there underneath us. It's so confidence inspiring. I have had a few offs, but it's more just a case of not realizing how fast this thing is. But yeah, 29 inch wheels, definitely uh, getting used to them now. And I'm definitely seeing why people are not wanting to go for 27.5 anymore. I mean, that's some silhouette that, isn't it? That's some silhouette. I went 170 Zebs. Yeah, I did check, because the bike comes with 160 on the front. Not sure why they did that, because the version up has um, 150s. So I did contact Specialized and double check that 170 would be okay and not void warranty, totally fine. Look at that man, look at that. Oh, you cannot see the gl just the gloss, just the shine off the paint. It's crazy. I'm blabbering, but uh, yeah. So I did try and find some carbon cranks. The 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 Marl motor. There's only Praxis who do crank arms for it, and uh, they're literally exactly the same as the Alley ones I've got on. But for I think they're like 400 pound or something. It's just no point. Bike is 18 kilos. Bang on. 18 kilos. That's with the Zebs. And with the piggyback, um, super deluxe on the back. It, my enduro I thought was light. That's it's like 15, 15 kilos. <laughs> it's hard to tell the difference when uh, when the wheels are off. Really, I mean that's the the the, the wheel sets. We're going to shave like what 300 grams at the most if you spend two or three grand on wheels. It's just no point. But this thing rips. This thing rips downhill. The short back end. And compared to the, the full fat lever, the short back end, you can tell, like, you can tell this thing is short at the back. It's super, super, like, it's hard to explain, but you don't really need to, well, you get over the back end and you twist your body, this thing just pulls you around the corners. It's crazy. But yeah, so there we go, my garish build. I don't think I'm going to do anything else with it. I wear bib shorts, so the seat's fine, although I don't have any on today, and I've got a big rip through my pants, so... I can't feel my uh, cold seat. And uh, yeah, I, I would prefer this to be from a forest, but all my trails are shut. My little go-to trail that I normally go to is shut. Someone's bought it, so I'm gonna have to come back at night. Never mind, a bit night riding, but yeah. Zebs, 170 front, super deluxe ultimate on the rear. All you need. I know I said that in the other video, but yeah, all you need to get is those forks and that shock. I wouldn't even bother with Fox, I mean, like, Fox, like, for me now, I think, I think it's, it's too much of an image thing, these things, for the money, <sighs> crazy, crazy, just can't ride anywhere, other than roads, so, all that travel, it was gravel, but, nope, anyway, um, that's eight minutes, so I'm gonna sign off now, I'm not a blogger, I'm just some guy who bought a green bike, because he was bored, and then to put some gold bits on it, but I highly recommend it. Got on.